Teferis Chaim was created that every single boy, every single young of light should feel part of something. You want to grow? Best place to do it. It's really been a great, a great journey. I've, I've been here for about a year or so. I can't think of going anywhere else. You can express yourself. You can be whoever you want to be. Yeshiva Teferis Chaim is one of the greatest places I've been to. Hanukkah 2008, we started with three guys and, and five of Reicha, and also my two brothers joined me. In my mind then, I didn't know where this was going. I just said, well, let's just help these boys right now, and we'll take it one day at a time, one man at a time. The Elves man, we had 25 guys, guys were calling from all over, I heard about Yeshiva, it was open for seven months. I heard about Yeshiva, I want to come to Yeshiva. So I first got here, and right away I was set up with unbelievable chavusas. The learning area, the ruach, really geschmack. You have morning seder, which is a little bit more structured, and there's a specific limud, or speed, that the oilam is supposed to be going according to. And then second seder really gives each individual, you know, he could grow in different areas according to what he desires. Every bach who comes to yeshiva who wants to learn, we try to pair them up with their own avrich. And the benefit of that is that the avrich takes their own special interest in that boy. They got to catch up with the Rebbe. They felt they could, they could understand the Gemara. They felt to get into Halacha. And they felt as a different person. And these boys danced. They jumped with excitement, with, with feeling of Simcha Sachayim. <laughs> They are fantastic, unbelievable people. They only want the good for the boys. The Rashiva of Anhala gives each of the Bachrim or the Avrechim the Rashus to grow according to their own speed, their own pace. Mashkiach Reb Matis, who cares like a tremendous amount about each boy. He's very easy to talk to. You can go around to his house whenever you want. He's a very inviting, friendly guy. Mashkiach, which you won't see anywhere else in the world. Baruch Hashem, you have here a staff uh, that is committed to really taking each bacher and looking at him as an individual. And certainly the Rosh Hashiva, you have a, a yeshiva where the Rosh Hashiva is here uh, pretty much 24-7. He's available, and that's a very important thing. The Rosh Hashiva, he himself has to get involved in every single bacher. Every month he calls me and says, Matis, what are we doing to help everybody? Maybe we can switch chavrusas around. It's like a chess game. This day, he, this boy's learning with that chavrusa. They're like, no, switch him around. It's not good. He's better for him. Let's get a workout room. Let's get music room. Let's get computers. Everything just to help the bachrim. He gave us the tools how to, how to go in life as a from Jew, as a from healthy person. Every meter that I've ever gained or achieved in life, anything I've ever done, I credit to Rabbi Israel. What gives me the greatest nachas is when I see the boys before and after. The difference that Rabbi Yisrael makes in their lives and the yeshiva in general sets them for life. Even when my son came home after four years of being in Yisrael, he wouldn't do anything without consulting first the Rebbe. It doesn't matter which year a Talmud attended the Rabbi Yisrael's yeshiva. They all feel extremely close to Rabbi Yisrael they could call him anytime they want, day or night. He asks you how your kids are doing. He wants to meet them. He gives them brachas. He comes over for a dinner. He's a father for each Talmud. Today, my son learns in Koyal and Rabbi Applebaum's yeshiva. I'm very proud of him. And we're proud of all the boys, how they've grown to become those special people that Klai Yisrael needs. We were living in Yisrael for a little less than seven years. And it came the time to go back. The Rosh Yeshiva suggested that maybe he'll open up a Koyal in Lakewood in order to ensure that the Avrechim are going back to America, they'll be able to continue learning. It's a Baruch Hashem, it's a solid curl. First Seder we're learning, learning Sugit Halach Lamaisa, second Seder we're doing Amr Yoimi. The exact same Mahalach that we're doing in Eretz Yisrael, we're doing over here. The Rosh Hashiva single-handedly opened up this curl in Lakewood in order to ensure a place for his Avrechim and for his Baruch when they go back. The Ruach Yeshiva was that just, you know, everyone was, everyone was together, everyone was happy and just but Apple Amida is a matzah where you just wanted to be part of the yeshiva and just do the right thing. He was always there every morning waking everyone up, you know, and just everyone was together as one unit. It's a small yeshiva and it certainly enhances 
uh, the one-to-one -one, uh, connection. It's a really geschmack, uh, warm environment. If you want to learn without the pressures, just come down, learn Torah, connect to Hashem, and like, just be a good yid. You come to, to, to Tzfaris Chaim. One of the best things about this yeshiva is the, the warm family atmosphere. The Rosh Hashiva holds on this Talmidim from the beginning at the site to be able to help us continue learning and staking. Tzfaris Chaim has grown into a Tremendous Malcolm Torah. The nachas that I have, I'm seeing so many Talmudim building such beautiful homes. Homes with this Torah, homes with his with Simcha. I think anyone that understands the importance of this yeshiva and helping our boys to develop understands that this is a moisid that we should support wholeheartedly. We need people like Rabbi Abelbaum. We need Yeshiva Tferis Chaim to help us to accomplish the Bias HaMashiach. Tonight, I'm asking everybody, be a shutaf, be a partner in this great avoida. Help us to accomplish and make this place a place where we don't have to worry about the finance. We can just give and give and give and create many B'nai Torah. I really appreciate everything they've done for me. I've been here for two years and uh, my life really changed over the past two years. Big, big differences. I'm unrecognizable. It's incredible. Wonders upon wonders upon wonders year after year, with the different challenges. Our goal is the same, to produce wonders, to work with each kid, to develop them to be the person that they really, truly can become.